St. Decanlin Church. Yeah, a bit of a bl blustery day, really. Something. Having a drink at this at the river. That's called the Watford River. It comes out at the to the sea at Watford. It's very uh, wild-looking, some moorland type mm. of thing. Kentisford Farm, and uh, quite a bit of history took place here a long time ago. Um, the West Somerset Railway, of course, runs down there just at the foot of the hill. But there used to be the mineral line as well, mm. uh, running parallel with it at that stage. And it actually took part in some automatic braking uh, tests here. They had a, a locomotive fitted with Australian equipment, which is, if there was any trouble, the local would automatically stop itself. Oh, yeah. And those trials took place there. And it was successful, but somehow they couldn't get the British Railway people are interested in adopting the system, not way back then. Probably political, like the... Yeah, uh, with the crossing gates, <laughs> watch it, I yeah. I bet it was. It was not British, we were not interested. There's, there's geese, there's, there's black and white birds, there's a, there's a large so goosey type bird down by the caravan. I don't see them, yeah. It's sort of just the other side of the caravan. Oh, I see there's, some sort of movement gate. there, yes. There's, there are two black and white birds, but he's got like a black body and white um, neck. Oh, interesting, yeah. And uh, there's another one behind the caravan that sort of wanders around behind mm. the Quite big, you see that big. Yeah, I think normally the caravans that park in that field are a bit more modern than that one. I wonder <laughs> if they're making use of that um, old caravan as a, as a bird um, refuge. I don't know. Guess. Guess it goes in there. See, the, the actual farmhouse is in much better condition than this old barn building here. Yeah? Interesting too, if you're into classic vehicles, they've got some old vehicles in, in some of the barns over here, just neglected. There's an old uh, Renault 5 van, which I haven't noticed there for years. And it's undercover, you know, if someone was into Renault 5 vans, mm. that could be an interesting thing to restore. Now, you can just see the level crossing to the West Somerset Railway in the distance, look, see the uh, oh, no, little the sign? White something or other there. Yeah, that's right. If we time things correctly, we might get there at the right time to film a train passing by. What's the time now? Oh, it's about oh. 26 minutes. Oh, four right, but minutes I now. doubt if we'll get there in time. Five van, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. see? <laughs> Been there for many years. Looks like a Seattle is starting to be stored over there, too. Anyway, it'd be interesting to see if I could film the train as it comes through, so we'll. Just stepping back a bit from the West Somerset Railway track here. I'm actually stood in the centre of what was the Mineral Line Railway from Watford. Gone parallel with the West Somerset Railway at this stage. Heading down to watch it. Now that's an interesting whistle too. That doesn't sound like a whistle I'm used to. So this might even be Ravingham Hall, which has just been restored. That whistle sounded interesting, whistle. so let us see what comes. You're going to try and get it on your phone, are you? Yeah. What, it's a picture or a video? Just, well, I, I could try... Video. I suppose I could try putting it in the... Um, video oh, mode? Oh dear. I didn't even realise doing it, wouldn't I? <laughs> There's so many sequences to go through to change some camera mode to video mode. Mode, that's video mode. You got it? Well done. Yeah, it'd be worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Can you see it already from your angle? Yeah. Good. Not the hole.
Hmm, it's worth taking, I think. I look in the gallery. See Alan's results on this video. Bit, um, bit too light, isn't it, to see it clearly? Hmm. Is it there? Oh, that's, that's, that's not, that's not it, that's, that's no. something else. Uh, well, it must be there, somewhere. I guess. That's the other problem, isn't it, with these phones in the daylight, you can't, it's such a struggle to see what's on the display. Huh. Hmm. Is that a slideshow? Oh dear. No, ten minutes later. Oh, there's a... That's bits of... Um... Oh, what's that there? No. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> there's some Deckerman's Church on the hill. Oh, there's a whistle of the train. That's possibly the train leaving Watchet Station now, because they normally whistle to go over the crossing. Oh. There's that little uh, pony that you were taking pictures of. Yes, that's right. It looks really nice now. Oh, what's that? Oh, blackbird. Yeah. Sounds like a blackbird having a little swear at us, disturbing his peace. I'll try and take another bit of video then, see if I can actually... Yes. I'll go to the gallery now. We're quite sheltered here, anyway, which is quite nice, because it was a bit exposed when we were at the higher ground. Up a little bit of sunshine. It's got a pleasant view. The red berries still here, like on that uh, little bush. Mm. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I have another go. Well, he's trying his uh, video function on his mobile phone again. Getting yeah. into the sun, but... Uh, yeah, there's a bit of video now, Oh, well, it's got something. <laughs> it's not very good. No, well... well I think that's what it is, when you finish it... Yeah. Um, you've got to press the... Um, as you press the stop button when you stop recording, which is... Rather than the poles. Otherwise, it doesn't finish. Get them pony over, over there. Oh, oh, there. I was making slow gin with it. Looks like you found some. Little, oh, bit, little, oh, yes, they're finished now, but yeah, you can see the slow berries. But they, they were in Albury on 7, they were a little bit better than this still. Mm, and yeah. uh, near Broughton Gifford as well. These are a little bit. Um, you actually these made are, some these gin. These are southern you? slows, you see. So here. these down here look in rather better condition down here. Well, yeah, a bit more like. Yeah. Well, there, those there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like this. Hmm. Yeah, so, bought a bottle of gin. Well, there, there's some there, isn't there? But not very many. Mm. There. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the various colours and the foliage here. The greens and the yellows. The red berries and the purple berries. Sectiferous. Right. Plant to some kind of forgotten the name. The red berries with some... Flowers of some description. Or were they berries originally? So there. Yeah. Interesting though. You see all those fluffy seeds at the back there? Yes, and that tree. Is that old man's beard? Is that what that's called or is it uh, obviously not the technical that's term? There's some blue, you see the blue black. Oh yes, they're really standing they're quite out. Nice ones they? the back and Lovely. Just in blue black, they'd be yeah. alright. Scramble through here, wouldn't you? Probably yes. fall into a hole. Yeah. I think there's a little stream down there too, so uh, <laughs> not too clever an idea to try and get in there. But look at that. Um, they show up, don't they? Oh, this is the sort of thing. All these oh, yes, look, look at those purple there. berries there, lovely. Mm. And this is a growth on an old piece of wood here that's also very colourful. Yes, the lichens and things. Like yeah. So, so More slows in the background. Oh, spots of rain coming there. The moment you can shelter in various places along this. It would have been lovely to come back here and see the trains running along here. Because, you know, they actually started this railway with London underground steam trains. You know, with a condensing uh, system. When they, when they were... Um... You know, when the London underground used steam trains. <laughs> <laughs> so they stopped using London, London underground and moved them to watch it. Yeah, just one, I think. There might have been two of them. And here's the Wasford River, getting quite close to that now. Heading on down towards Watch It. Whoops! Nearly slipped down. Splash. <laughs> if people walk their dogs, very often you see the dogs go sideways down here to have a little drink. 
Doesn't look all that clean though there, unless it's just the fact that it's mud coming down this slope. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Quite fast, isn't it? Fast it is, way. yeah. Anyway, if we start... That's stay. like a little bridge for people to go over that tree from here, is it? Well, after you. <laughs> it's an interesting little variation. Huh? Different colouring there too. Other yellow or darker green. The variations on the yellowing of leaves. You can just about see the, uh, the railway track there. Let's have the west out set. Looks like um, oh, this is a an old telegraph pole or something, is, isn't it? which has fallen down a long, it's long the time top ago. Of it here, on the right. Yeah. Obviously, not needed it's these warm, days. Yeah, Look at the, the gates. Sun's the, yes. Just a hint of warmth coming across there. We're talking about warmth. Do you hear the seagull sound? Yeah. Well, apparently they come in land at night and they roost around the paper mill because there's steam rising up there and it's warmer. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> it's quite a normal thing to hear seagulls around the paper mill. Oh, there's a swing here. Oh, a bit of... No, it's just one support. But someone's been swinging on it by the look of it. Yeah. You can imagine people leaping out to try and grab that and ending up in the river. Huh? Colouring though, just beyond the track there you've got greys and greens and uh, almost light blues and fading vegetation. You know, not seen the West Somerset Railway track quite so well revered. If we don't get to the other location, even a shot from here it would be interesting to see the train come through. But we've still got time to get to where I have in mind. Steam arising from the paper mill. Because <laughs> in the winter that steam affects are much more impressive than in the summer. A lot of people when they get close to the railway here see that steam and think it's a steam train. Yes. I think all we're going to do is get a brief glimpse through here as it goes over the overbridge. Yeah. Sounds nice there. sound isn't it? But you can't see any more of it. You can see how it's still climbing by the engine there. Mm. We've just got down the end of the mineral line which is now into a more of a built up road to where the Rossford River goes into watch it. Lovely new house built there last year. Somehow they used to be able to channel some of this water away to feed, feed a flour mill just beyond this. But I never quite worked out where that old waterway went. Maybe beyond where we can see here. Hmm. Today, Mill Street. <laughs> Mill Lane over there. Lots of references to the mill. Look at that old sign up on that wall. Look. Cattle crossing. Some years since Cody closed across the road. <laughs> this used to be a little industrial estate where they made uh, coasters and uh, tableware, pastry boards and the like. But and there's also a cotton sales place in the background. But all that's closed, unfortunately. 
I think they've got planning permission to build an old folks, a big old folks home here. What, for big old folks? For big old folks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know whether that's going to actually happen. Look at this old um, turbine from years oh, yeah. gone by. Quite where that was located, I don't know, but uh, somebody, somewhere locally, I expect. Colourings in the shrubs. It's all part of the mill and something there, isn't it? This building. Mm. That's all been refurbished here recently, too. Very nice. We have this modern house which was recently built with no windows at all. Looking this way apart from in the roof. Local pigeons. A stone in this car park left, yeah. True. No windows on the side either, just the only windows are there. Big sensible garage underneath her. Huh? I always think a house should be built with a large garage underneath and then live above it. Look at that colourful tree tree growing here this time. And the, uh, yeah, going through this little walkway into Swain Street, the main street will watch it. There used to be a very nice little antique centre in there, but uh, called Grandmother's Cupboard. And that outbuilding used to contain lots of interesting books. That's all this gone. Books the I'm not sure what they're planning to do here. They've obviously re refurbished this building nicely. trees growing out of the Yeah. They look nice at night, but they, they've all got little um, lights on them. This shop's got some very nice paintings of local places here. There's a shot of um, a train coming through in the winter and to watch its station. Mm, in fact, nice. the, the artist's wife actually is still a volunteer at the station. Oh, look, that's where we've been, look. See some decaments covered in snow there? Mm. We've been walked down through those fields. Maybe you should take a painting of the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> We're up on the road now to Donnerford and uh, expecting another train to come by. Ably assisted by the wind, no doubt.